What's up, my name's Nick and welcome to my channel. On this channel I do product reviews of things I actually buy and I give you three things I like about a product and three things I dislike about a product. And at the end of the video I tell you what I buy it again. So today's product we're gonna review is the iTarget Pro. Like I said in previous videos, I don't do unboxings because I, I actually use these products uh, before I review them because I wanna have a good understanding of how they work before I would even suggest or review or go over anything about it. So this is the box. I think there's a nicer slip cover that came on it, but it doesn't matter. It's a box. What you get? So you get you get this neat little target here. Basically, it's a uh, comes with a plastic little like uh, it's got your bullseye and then your triangles, and then you can take this out and replace it with whatever target you want. Um, and the slide, so this will slide either left or right uh, or in or out. Oop. Or completely out. All right, what you do is you put your you, you put a, a phone right here like this. And then you set it up like that. So that's that's one piece pretty pretty simple to explain. I didn't even have to read the manual. That's step 1. Step 2 comes with this. If I can get it in there, it comes with that. This is a brass bullet. Now this is a nine millimeter, which is what the 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 kit I bought was a uh, is nine millimeter. It was ninety nine dollars and it came with one bullet. You can buy additional bullets like this. I think they're like fifty nine bucks or something like that. So in my gun. See it's cleared. You can see it's cleared. No bullet. You're gonna put it in with the rubber part sticking out. Now you can close the action. I like to close it slowly. Um, but once that's in there, it is rimless. So you can actually practice if you wanted to, you know, if, if you didn't have, um, you know, if you wanted to practice single shot, you could do that. You know, fire, 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 um, and it's not going to eject the shell out. So how this thing works is every time I pull the trigger, see the red dot? Find a spot that. So it fires a red dot at downrange at the target. Now you download an app, which is the iTarget Pro app. They have uh, two different versions. One, the standard scoring app. And then for an upgrade, I think $7.99, you can get the quick draw app. And that works as it'll tell you to draw, you draw, fire, and it'll time you from the time that it says draw till it fires. And it'll give you an idea of your speed when you're uh, practicing like that. So I've used it for about three weeks now. I gotta say, when I first got it, I used it quite a bit, and then, I don't know, I have it in my basement, and uh, I use it every now and then. It is nice for me to get that dry fire practice, so maybe you can get down, cut down some of the flinch or some of the reaction, um, and I took it out to the range after I'd been using it for a while, and I could definitely tell that my, I, could, I was improving my sight picture, and knowing when I bring the gun up, where I want to aim based on the target practice. It's uh, To me, it's kind of cheap to be able to do it in the basement. You're not spending rounds. So that's that. Now I'm going to put a video on right here. This is my actual using target setup in my basement. And you'll notice the it's kind of dark because the LED, or my LED lights at my basement, kind of throw the uh, scoring mechanism off. When I first opened up the box and got everything set up and tried it, it was on a brightly lit room, and it was just giving me false false triggers all the time. But it gives you a neat little gun sound, like it going off. And again, like I said, it's, it's, it's nice to, to practice with 
and uh, you know, it's a little fun little toy. So the three things that I really like about it, once you buy the initial setup, it doesn't cost you a dime after that. So you're not buying rounds. You get to practice in your house without raining or anything like that. Uh, it's kind of more like a toy, kind of like a video game, but it does give you that. For me, it gives me the, the practice with drawing and shooting without having to go to the range. Number two, I like the fact that you can order other calibers. So if you, uh, you know, you had your 45 or your 40 or your nine, you know, nine millimeters, what I got, they do 223 and then 223, 556. Five, I'm not sure if I would really use this for my AR. I don't know, it just doesn't seem practical. And uh, I honestly, I don't even have the room in my basement to do it. So that's number two. Number three, it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap. So that's the three things I like. Three things I dislike. One would be the fact that you have to make sure you're in a dimly lit room, at least the target is. That can be kind of, I don't know. To me, it feels kind of weird shooting in the dark. So that would be number one. Two, it is kind of pricey at the $99 price range. Uh, for a target system, I guess I, I've never bought another one. This is the first one I've ever bought. But to me, it's uh, kind of pricey to outlay the cash for what it is. Number three, it is kind of weird with the cell phone placement. It takes me kind of a while to get the whole picture of the, you know, having it set up correctly. Now I use an iPhone 7. It's an older iPhone that was laying around one of, you know, one, one of my older iPhones. I use that strictly for this, so that way I'm not using my own phone. Uh, but it is kind of weird, like I don't know if it's meant for larger phones, but this is like the original iPhone, so it's smaller. So it took a while to set up. I mean, once it's set up, it runs good and it works good, but it's that initial setup. And the ultimate question, would I buy it again? Um, I guess the jury's still out on that, because right now I do use it. I did use it heavily when I first got it for the first week or two. I would just go down a couple times a day and just on the weekend and pop off, you know, run run it through. Uh, but then I found it was kind of easy. So to, to hit that 10 bull multiple times, I'm like, I don't know if that really is me. You know, you don't have the kickback of the gun and things like that. Uh, but again, for right now, I would say I would probably buy it again a year from now. Who knows? Will it be one of those purchases that ends up back in the box and on a shelf somewhere, or will I sell it at a yard sale? You know, I don't know. But for right now, that's what, uh, what I like about it, what I dislike about it. If uh, you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'm free to answer it. Till next time, have a great day.